Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Back to the Cardboard. This is Shannon here. And hey, I know we talk a lot about our most favorite set. Uh, for me, it's, I think most of you guys know, it's a 1980 Topps. Uh, I'm a big fan of the 1987 uh, Topps as well. That's a couple of my favorites. But do we ever talk about our least favorite sets? Um, you know, I, I, I don't like the 91 Fleer. I'm sure you guys don't either. Uh, the Bumblebee set just doesn't do it for me. The 88 Donruss, mm, not a fan of that as well. Uh, I know some of you guys, that's going to be a big shocker. But hey, today I want to talk about... Hold on one second. Today I want to talk about a set that is beautiful. But no, it's ugly. It's ugly in its own right, but beautiful. You understand where I'm coming from? Anyway, I entitled this episode The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. So let's get to it. All right, before I get started with this video, I'd like to thank my local convenience store. You know, there's only one thing better than a roller dog, and that's a blueberry icy. Mmm, gosh. I don't know what the heck I did with it. I set it down here somewhere. But anyway, hey, maybe you guys guessed this set. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. What we're looking at here is the 1976 Icy Drinks. Um, these were distributed in and around the Cincinnati area, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, there's 12 cards in the set. And they call them the Icy Drink Lids because I guess I assume once upon a time they were on the tops of the cups, on the tops of the Icy Cups. But in 76, they moved them to the bottom. You can see the slit here. And here's how they were distributed to look like this. You can see the, um, the cut there so you can get your hand under it to get them out. But this is a 76 rose. These are distributed the spring and summer of 76, commemorating the 75 World Series win. And the 75 World Series happened to be Rose's third World Series. Uh, Reds went in 70 and 72. Uh, Rose only did one thing in the uh, 75 Series, batted 370, had 10 hits, and went on to win the uh, MVP of the Series. That's Pete Rose, the icy drink cup. Next up, I got King Griffey Sr., the famous dad of Junior, the kid. Ken Griffey Sr. spent 19 years in the majors. Uh, played with the Reds from 73 to 81. And this was his really, 75 was kind of his breakout year uh, in the majors. Uh, pretty decent year. Batted 305 with four home runs. Next up, we're looking at Cesar Geronimo, the chief. Uh, he played 15 years in the majors. He's with the Reds from 72 through 80. Uh, gold Glove winner in 75 World Series with two home runs. Hey, where are you going? I set my drink down here just a few minutes ago. Have you seen it? And then we're looking at Gary Nolan. Gary Nolan, right-handed pitcher. He was in the majors 10 years, primarily with the Reds. He was with them from 67 through 77, and then traded to the Angels in the middle, middle of the uh, 77 season. He was the starter for the iconic Game 6 that year of the 75 World Series. Uh, but he got rocked the first inning. He gave up three runs and three hits, one of them being a deep home run by the Fred Lynn. Deep home run to center field, Fred Lynn. Next up, we got Don Gullett. Don Gullett was with the Reds from 70 through 76. He had a nine-year major league career. Um, in the 75 World Series, he lost game one to a brilliant pitching effort uh, by Louis Tiant. Uh, the Reds lost six to nothing, didn't score a run, and it was looking bleak at that time. But Don Gullett came back in game five and pitched a gym of his own. Uh, pitched 8.2 innings, allowed two runs on five hits while striking out seven. Um, Reds went on to win that game. 
uh, he was so dominant, not in the 75, but in the 76 World Series. I'm reading a book called Number One. It's about uh, Billy Martin. But uh, he was so dominant in the 76 World Series that uh, Yankees owner George Steinbrenner told Billy, he said, I'm going out to get this kid. I reckon he raked them over the coals in the 76 World Series. And uh, Steinbrenner took a took exception to that. So he went out and got Don Gullett at the end of the 76 season and made him a Yankee. thought that was a pretty cool story. And then we got here Tony Perez. Tony Perez had a pretty decent 75 series. At 28 at bats, he had five hits and seven RBIs and a stolen base. Uh, he also had three home runs. Uh, two of those he hit in uh, game game five. Tony Perez. And then here we got Will McAaney. Uh, Will here is a lefty. He's with the Reds from 74 through 76, three seasons there. Uh, his business claim to, biggest claim to fame was he was on the mound at the end of game seven, the the, the clinching game, Carl Yastrzemski was up at bat, flied out to center field. Well, I'll tell you what. Sit me show you and check it out. Two down, nobody on. Joe Morgan's bloop single right now is the difference. The top of the ninth inning, he put the Reds ahead. There's a high fly ball. It should be all over. Geronimo's under. And Cincinnati has won the world championship, beating the Boston Red Sox 4-3. to three. All right, next up, we got... George Foster. George Foster played 18 years in the majors. He was with the Reds from 71 through 81. Uh, in that 75 season, he ended up batting 300 and even 300 with 23 home runs and 78 RBIs. Let's get back there, very clean back. PSA 5 of George Foster. We got a Davy Concepcion. This is another PSA 5. Uh, Davy is shortstop from Venezuela. Uh, he was 19 years in the majors, every bit of it with the Reds from 1970 through 1988. 75, he was an all star and a gold glove winner. That, hear that? What is that? I thought I heard something. Anyway, next up. Got a Raleigh Eastwick, right-handed pitcher. Uh, he had eight years in the majors. He was with the Reds from 74 through 77. Uh, 75 season, he was 8-3 and three with 22 saves, which, which happened to lead the National League. That year, he finished third in the Rookie of the Year voting, behind none other than the winner, Fred Lynn. He had a brilliant 1975 World Series. He ended up winning two games and getting a save during that series. Uh, he was pretty much the backbone of the pitching staff during that season or that series. But that's Raleigh Eastwood. And then we got this man right here. You probably probably heard of him, Joe. John, what is, is that? There it is again. I thought I heard something. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Johnny Bench, 17 years in the majors. Oh, about to the camera over. 17 years in the majors. Uh, every bit of it with the Reds. Uh, he played with them from 67 through 83. Uh, had a pretty decent 75 series. Nothing like his 76 series. The 75 season, Johnny was a gold glove winner and an all star. Man, the gold glove winners are just out of this world on that team. And then last but not least, this card right here, the gem of the collection as far as I'm concerned, in my, in my set, is the Joe Morgan in a PSA 8. Uh, there's only been three graded higher. There's only three nines in this set. You can see there, it's a, it's a beauty. But Joe um, was in the majors 22 years. He's with the Reds from 72 through 79. Uh, he's in 75, as a matter of fact, he led the league in walks with 132 on-base percentage and OPS. Uh, he had 17 home runs, 94 RBIs, and 67 stolen bases. So he was a speed demon on the diamond. Uh, because of that, he was voted National League MVP 
1975. Also, he was a Gold Glove winner and an All-Star. Joe here passed away October the 11th, 2020, at the age of 77. Yeah, that's all I got, guys. I appreciate you spending some time with me. I appreciate you hanging out a little bit with me today. Hey, until next time, God bless you. God bless America. Now I got to go find that blueberry ice. I've set it down somewhere. Bye.